What's going on guys? So I'm back again and I finally got that finally got that TPS. So got it right here. It's pretty much how it arrives. I still haven't opened this thing. I figured I'd open it inside the car because it's the quietest spot in this garage. It's a pretty nice sleek packaging. Inside's uh, purple and got these uh, screws that it were included which is perfect because if you guys try well if you guys tried removing your stock ones you already know you had to use like a drum or something and and um cut the uh, bolt so you could uh actually twist it off or whatever hopefully that fixes my um idle issue with it getting stuck or whatever at that uh 2k mark and then also i couldn't help myself on amazon they had two day shipping on the um let me just show you guys. I love these vibrant bags, man. I don't know. There's something about these bags. I just love them, man. The packaging is so dope. But I couldn't help myself. I saw these and I, I wanted a set. And what these are, when you're doing your A-in fittings, doesn't matter what size. And what this is, you can slide. This goes on your vise, so on one side. So you have it like that. And then this one will go on the other side, something like that. So then you'll have them like that, kind of. And you can put your AN fitting on there, right? So let me just explain, because I don't have a vise here, but when you put your AN fitting on a vise so it can hold it for you, so you can twist on the AN fitting, when you have it on the vise, what you're doing is you're, the fitting, you're squeezing it. So it's actually going to mess up the fitting when you do it now, because all you're doing is making it making your fitting like an oval instead of it being round. So by squeezing like that, you're just gonna mess it up. But when you have these, and all it does is hold it in place for you. It doesn't squeeze it, you know what I'm saying? So you could do all the turning, twisting, whatever you want, and you're not gonna mess up the, the fitting itself. It's gonna make things a whole lot easier for you. And it won't damage or like scratch up your fitting because all it's doing is holding it for you. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I picked these up just because I saw them. These were $22, and, they're, and they have magnets on the inside, so it just holds on right onto your vise. So yeah, guys, if, you, if you're going to do a in fitting, pick this up, man. You have to. I didn't have these, and it was a pain in the ass. It would have been so much quicker with those. Another thing I picked up was this. Oh, let me tell you, if you guys think that on the vise you could just put like a towel or something, you could do it, but it's gonna constantly be slipping off. It's gonna, you're still probably gonna damage the, uh, the AN, you're still gonna damage the fitting, cause that's what I did. I mean, I was able to do it, but you're gonna damage the fittings. So I just picked those up, and then I picked this one up. This one goes up to 16 AN, and it's an adjustable one. I actually wanna order one more, just to have it. And also it's got that little dent in it, so it's perfect. Like this is not gonna slip off the AN fitting. Now when you use a regular adjustable, you know, it's just flat, so it's gonna constantly slip off and you're gonna just jack up your stuff. So just pick up one of these. That's all you need, an adjustable one, Amazon, 20 bucks. And then this was 20 bucks. It's a vibrant one. Just look it up, it'll, it'll say like um, AN fitting, uh, vice something, I don't know. Just search it up. And this is just an adjustable wrench for AN fittings. And an update, let me just give you guys an update on my harness. I still haven't heard back from them. They're probably like super busy or they just don't want to deal with it right now. So pretty much I depend it. I got tired of waiting for them, so I depend it and pinned it myself where it's supposed to be. This thing's not gonna focus, but the white and red one right here and the one that was here were, in, were swapped, they're in the wrong spot. So I just, I flipped them, I put them back where they're supposed to be and it's all good now. So my IET is perfect. And I gotta do my VTEC solenoid, whatever the fuck. They actually put it in the 0204 spot and the 05 was supposed to go in another pen. I forgot, I got the paper here somewhere, but that's in the wrong spot. All right, so I got you guys pretty caught up on what's going on with my car so let's install this TPS mess around with the throttle cable mess around with the throttle itself and adjust the uh, the spring on there and uh, try and walk you guys through that all right let's get to it all right so quick comparison guys this is OEM I had to make my own gasket to make it work and 
and uh, yeah, that's the inside of it. And this is the new one right here. And I, the thing I like most about this one is how tight it is in there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the it's gonna fit. It's gonna fit perfect, you know. It's not gonna have any play like this one. I don't know if you guys see the inside of this one. It's got this rubber gasket around it. If you guys can see that. So that keeps you from having to use any of this crap. Is that rubber thing around it. And if you guys do end up using your OEM one, make sure you know you make a gasket. You can buy this cheap paper gasket, it's like five dollars. And make sure when you go get new bolts, because you're probably gonna want to get new ones unless you want to use your old ones. But make sure it has a, a washer and a lock washer on there, guys. Because you driving and stuff, it's gonna work its way out if you don't have a lock washer in there, at least. And uh, they did the same thing. You gotta have, make sure you have a lock washer on there. So yeah, let's put this thing on, we'll calibrate it, and then we'll mess with the throttle. using my own screws here the ones I had used before on my old um, TPS these are Allen key ones which works for me because I don't have much room here and I really don't want to just take this all apart the one that the uh, TPS brought the new one was this one it's a Phillips one same thing same exact thing it's just Phillips on the top it's got the lock washer and then just a regular washer so same deal but I'm just gonna reuse mine because it's easier for me to get in there and another thing guys this actually adjusts i had mentioned it before you just gotta unscrew this and this is pretty much to uh, adjust your stiffness or like the spring back on your throttle cable you unscrew that this pulls out make sure you guys pay attention the way it came out so you can put it back the way it came in and all you do is adjust that spring that's in there and then when you put it back in make sure that this is closed so kind of just look in there make sure you guys touch it with your finger or just hold it there and then after you do that you want to tighten this you want to tighten that screw up again and it's got that nut on the bottom see if i can focus in it's got that nut on the bottom don't adjust that leave that alone because that's going to stop you and tell you that you know you're good so yeah now that we got that on there gonna just mess around with this tps get this on there as tight as i can without locking it in and then we'll adjust everything and make sure it's good so let's do that real quick all right so that's on there pretty tight now um pretty much just unclip this guys and you're gonna have three wires and i'm just gonna show you guys there's a ton of videos on this already on youtube but i guess i'll make another one right why not add to it anyways you're gonna have three wires there you got a yellow one a green one and a red one the red one's gonna be the middle one that's the one you want to tap into so you want to strip that back something like that so yeah something like that kind of what i did um i kind of just went a little too far and i cut some of the strands so i got to solder that back but yeah, something like that. And then um, you're gonna put your positive lead on that. You're gonna kind of just hold it on there like that. And then your black one, your black one, you're gonna put it to ground. Usually your battery is gonna be right here. So you're just gonna put that on your ground and kind of just, you know, place it on there. And um, One other thing guys, you wanna set your multimeter, whatever you have to V, DC. So closed, you guys want it at 0.45, and then open, you want it at 4.5. Um, I got it, I got the close to 4.5, and then open, I think the closest I could get it was like 4.4 or something like that. For me, I'm not looking for for uh, perfection, because I'm going to set it in K-Tuner, but for you, those of you that don't have a uh, K-Tuner or K-Pro, you want to get it as close as you can possible so just take your time it might take you an hour or whatever to do it but just keep at it and just keep playing around with it and you'll you'll definitely get it 
Um, if not, you'll get it pretty damn close. So I'm just trying to get it as close as I can so that it's not affecting my throttle or whatever. But that's good enough for me. I'm just going to reset it in K-Tuner and then I'm good. All right, so let me explain something. You're probably wondering, like, if you can set it on K-Tuner, then why are you setting it out there, like, manually? Well, you want to set it... I don't know if you guys ever mess with the TPS, but when you mess with it, you could slightly move the throttle open and close with the, with the TPS alone. So what you want to do, you want to set it as close as you can to factory, set it to zero or whatever the factory settings are so that you're not affecting the throttle on it, like the idle and stuff. So um, basically you want to set that first and then you could reset it on your K tuner or K pro. All right guys. So I just brought the car out and I will say just me, Reversing the car out of there, it felt a thousand times better. And I think the TPS was the main reason everything was off. Like, I don't know, it just felt, I don't know, it just feels way different. So, so my advice, if you guys are gonna run any other throttle body other than the OEM, so I'd be racing, K2 and blocks, whatever. Um, while you're at it, just swap out the TPS, guys. Don't even bother using the OEM. It just doesn't fit right, guys. So yeah, when you get the throttle body, just grab a new TPS with it. All right, so everything's good. TPS is zero. My IT isn't going crazy anymore. We got that all good. Um, like I said earlier, pretty much the only issue now is my pressure switch uh, solenoid, whatever. And right now it's in pin number nine. It's gotta be an 11. Um, pin nine is for 0204. So 0506 is calling for, it's gotta be in pin 11. So I'm just gonna depend that and put it in the right spot. Um, I'm actually waiting for this little pinning tool so I don't have to use like paper clip or anything like that. I could just use the right tool so I don't damage the uh, harness or whatever. So my GoPro died, so I can't really use that. But I'm gonna use this camera, kind of just hold it up. I can show you guys, but everything's pretty good. IT 77 car still a little cold right now obviously i'm still gonna have issues with the uh thermostat but i come to the conclusion that the only way i could fix it is to get a different thermostat style so i think i'm gonna leave it how it is for now and just deal with it um the lowest i got it to go was 130 and my pc is about to die which isn't good what do i have for a percent i got 21 minutes so let's just go See how this car feels yeah the throttle response guys is crazy right now so after i switched so after i fixed the trying to run me off the road dude all right so so all i need is an alignment look at this steering wheel it's fucking terrible let's drive this this way yeah this car feels great man the IAT is up. The throttle response is way better now. The issue was that TPS. So I'm gonna drive a little further down, but uh, um, I'm freaking happy, man. We freaking fixed this. Um, so this whole time it was at TPS and pretty much the wire harness. But yeah, slowly but surely we're getting the car there, man. We're almost done. And then we just gotta send this thing out to get painted and we're good, man. But yeah, I think we're, we're, we're pretty close to being all set with the engine bay for this year at least. Um, I'm sure next year I'll, I'll wanna fix stuff up and finish that, but hopefully we'll start working on the interior and start getting that all pretty. Um, I also have my 98 Civic, which is parked right now. I got a different daily. I don't know if you guys watch my other vlogs or not, but I got me another daily. I got a four-door Avalon 1000. I know, it's a grandma car. But uh, I got this 98 Civic. It's a five-speed. And I actually want to maybe make that part of the vlog and start fixing that car up. I was planning on selling it. And uh, I don't know, I decided to keep it. But I don't know if I want to swap it or what I want to do with it, man. Or track, track the car or just do something fun with it. And you guys can probably join me with that, give me ideas on, you know, what, what I should do with it. And uh, it'll be a nice little project for the, uh, it'll be a nice little project for the channel too.
But yeah, rut car's running good. We're just gonna keep working on the car, guys. Um, but yeah, slowly dial it in. Hopefully get it tuned. I don't know, maybe not this year, maybe next year. I think the uh, I think the tune on K Tuner isn't too bad. Plus, I'm not too crazy about going super fast. Um, I think I'm good the way it is. But yeah, all I can say is when you guys are having issues and um, just back to back to back problems with your car, I mean that's gonna happen, guys. You just gotta you know take it easy nothing good comes out of just getting mad and breaking stuff and you know getting all frustrated just take it a day at a time and the best thing you can do is just try and figure out what the issue is and just go from there you know kind of just make a list like i did and one by one just start start looking through your problems and research and go on forums and and trust me guys there's been thousands and thousands and maybe a million people that's been through what you've been through already so just go on forums, ask around, get involved, ask people, ask questions, guys, ask. Like you see somebody with the same setup you have on Instagram, just DM them. And some most people, for the most part, wouldn't have a problem um, helping you out. Some people do get annoyed because they probably get tired of helping people so many times and whatever, but take your time, don't rush through it, just take it a day at a time. And my car is far from perfect. Like this thing is, got a long way to go to get it to where I want it and I'll probably never be happy with it but but yeah I'm just getting one step closer to the way I envisioned it looking from 2011 when I first got the car so you know if you guys just got your RSX just stick with it um, day at a time come Christmas time you know ask for a car part or your birthday or you know maybe your taxes come in and maybe you could just get a car part even if it's not something super expensive I mean, at least you got something out the way and just gather up parts and then eventually, you know, start putting them in your car. And that's how I started. And that's pretty much what I did, you know. Come holidays, birthdays, I just kept buying parts and slowly, it took me like three years to just gather everything and finally put it in the car. So this thing doesn't happen overnight um, unless you got a lot of money and you're rich or whatever. But most of us are just normal people just working and, you know, just a regular nine to five so so yeah just do the best you can and just stick with it i can't really show you guys the temperature because my computer died it said it was going to be good for 21 minutes and it lasted like five minutes so i don't know but show you guys temperature went up there finally got up there so i'd say the temperature is around 180 190 something like that maybe 200. i just got back and it's hella windy out here let me show you guys the car inside the garage right now but yeah that's what she looks like guys I like how the calipers I still I'm still in love with those calipers man and white it just pops yeah that's how I want it to look guys kind of just OEM on the outside um you know a couple things I did a couple things you know the front lip and uh calipers and you know you could notice a couple of things but you know once you open the engine bay they're definitely not expecting that, so it's kind of what I was aiming for. And we're not done, you know. Still got to do the seats. Still got to do. Uh, still got to do the whole interior. So yeah, day at a time. All right, so I'm gonna sign off, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that little bell thing on the bottom, guys. That lets you know whenever I post a video. Let you know on your phone or on YouTube, on your computer, whatever. But yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one.